Hi everybody, long time no see. Um, it has been a minute since I made a video, but I wanted to say hello, happy holidays, and by the time you see this, it might be also the new year, so happy new year. So the point of this video is to communicate concisely how I went from a low-level Ultimate Versus player to playing for some of the top teams in the country. Hello everybody, a change of scenery. I keep wanting to refilm this because I think of a better way to say it and now it's late at night and so I'm in my closet. Um, and so the first thing that I did to break through Prato as a player was accept that ultimate Frisbee is something that I wanted to be good at. And the reason I think this is something you have to choose to do, there are so many things in life and are so many people that do this is that they just kind of do things without really any intention. I have had a fear for a long time in school, my jobs, and for Ultimate, is where I felt almost a sense of relief and safety in what you would say is not really, I would like self-sabotage and not really commit because I was afraid that my best foot forward wasn't going to be enough and I, you know in school it's like oh well i didn't study and i only i got st i still got an 80 so you know in theory i if i had studied i probably could have gotten like an a and the thing is is i was scared is that if i had really studied and i still got like an 85 it's like well shit, this is the best i can do and like that's my limit and it's like when you are trapped by that mentality you you not only put actual false limitations on yourself but you also never actually see what is out there you can do like it you never actually you can still dream but you're never actually trying to get your dreams to come true for me i have found that it, my actual i have not found my limit yet how good i can actually be and so the encouragement i'd say for step one is to push through that plateau and know that your limit is far greater than what you actually can like imagine. If it's national teams, if it's the A team, it's winning summer league championships and whatever that is, own it. This is something you wanna be at, good at and know that not only can you achieve your goal, but you have you can go farther than that if you want to, but the journey for that has to start with you and you have to believe that you can go that far. Something that I've seen um, in the last couple of years playing in the ADL and playing for Chain is the constant attitude of the players to learn and to get better. People are always looking for the next thing to like push their nutrition, push their workouts. I'm sprinting this many times a week. I'm lifting this many times a week. What kind of lifting workouts am I doing? Am I working on explosiveness? I'm working on speed. I'm working on my throws. I'm developing a new release point. I'm studying this game. I'm learning to guard handlers better. I'm learning to guard cutters. I know so many players in college as they come in like, oh, I'm a good thrower and I don't need to work on it. And it's like whatever pond you find yourself in, try if you can put yourself in a bigger pond. And if you can't do that, you know, mentally try to do that. Don't look at just raising the floor, raise the ceiling as well. And that's something for me is like, I felt things that I was good at four years ago I would say are not the things that I'm like I am like what I'm known for now I am better at a cutter than I am a handler and like I used to be primarily a handler and the thing is is like I've played some tournaments where like I'm a better thrower than most people that play like I mean the humble brag but that's just like how I see myself like not in a nationals level but like the other 90% of the community so work on raising the floor, but push yourself in the things that you think that you're good at. I would say the third thing, and this is probably the hardest pill to swallow and something that really, it, it hurts, is you have to work harder than you currently are. The easiest trend that I see about Nationals caliber players and some of the best athletes in the game is that they just outwork people. And that is like, you have to just be a dog. <laughs> it, like, it is just like, run the damn ball. Like, run the dang ball. 
Like, learn from your mistakes. Like simple, just fundamental, like brute force. And you just have to like sheer attrition to push through sometimes. And like, that is something that I thought I worked hard. And it's like, I have like every single year that I've had to like re-earn and like pay the price every single year, every year I get my ass kicked by like some workout. Like Tuba did it to hustle last year. The year before it was a chain. When I went to Tampa, like Bobby and Roni like raised the bar. When I was playing at UAH, it's like, Eli, he went and played Nightwatch and got super good and Brett got played Hustle and they pushed the boundary again. And I was like, I got my ass kicked by like Tom Radcliffe when I played for UAH. And it's like, when I first made Freaks, it was the same crowd. It's like every single time you're like, damn, I have to keep getting better. Push yourself as hard and as fast as possible, as safely as possible. When I was trying to up and coming, I reached out to Parker Bray, I reached out to, um, Miranda, I reached out to Ashlyn Joy. You know, like I didn't know Ashlyn, and like I would just DM them on Instagram and Facebook, and just be like, "Hey, like, how can I? Like, what do I do to get better at you?" And it's just like, it's like you have to, like, to not only catch up, and if you want to exceed these people, like, you have to be working harder than they are. And I think that is like an ep like not an epidemic, but I just think that's like a common flaw that I see in people that are stuck in like sectionals or low level club or low performing college teams is that they just they, they think that there's some magical secret formula when it's the secret ingredient is just outworking people at whatever you're doing there is no secret ingredient i'd love to hear some kind of feedback um, about any of these three things i talked about if there's any other um players that have any comments or critiques about it i'd love to see what you guys think about it. I know it's been a long time since I made a video, so I appreciate um, all the new subscribers and I hope everyone has a good year. And hopefully maybe this helps some people kind of push through and I'd love to see everybody um, in this next couple year, whether it be at um, club stuff, AUDL stuff, whatnot, feel free, I'd love to say hi, love to talk to anybody. So till next time everybody, thanks.